Hi everyone, in today's video, let's solve a problem cyclically rotate an array by one step or in another words, right rotate an array by one step. So let's start this video with the problem statement and in this problem, we have given an array of input integers. We have to write a code to rotate an array to the right by one step or in or this problem can also be asked as given an array of input integers, write a code to cyclically rotate an array clockwise by one step. Let's understand this problem through an example. In this problem, we have to rotate an array by one step to the right. It means we have to shift each element of an array by one index to its right. So let's start with the last index of an array and the element at this index is one. So when we move or when we shift each element to its right, so one will move at zeroth index and the rest of the elements four, five, six, eight, nine will also move one step to its right. So four will move to its next index. Five will move to its next index. Similarly, eight, six, eight, nine will move to its next index. And the final output is this one. So this is the problem statement. Let's discuss how we can solve this problem and finally write its Java code. Let's discuss how we can solve this problem. So in this problem, we have to rotate only we have to only rotate an array by one step to the right. And considering this, what we can do is we can simply store the last element of an array in some temp variable. Let's say I declare one variable temp I'm in short form I am writing T and store the last element of an array and then shift each element by one step. So I will shift four. Let's say I shift nine to its next index here eight to its next index here. Similarly, six here, five here and four here. And finally, when all the element are shifted by one step, I can simply copy the last element of an array at zeroth index here. So why I stored this element in a temp variable because I am shifting each element by one step. So when I shifted nine to this index, if I don't store this element in a temp variable, it will be overwritten, right? So once I shifted all the elements by one step to its right, I simply copy one at zeroth index. And this is how we can solve this problem. Let's see its Java code. So here first I simply store the last element of an array in some variable, right? And then I started uh, moving each element by one step. So I pick this element and move at this index. Then I pick this element and move at this index. Similarly, six is moved at this index. Five is moved at this index. Four is moved at this index. And at last I copy the element which I stored in a variable at zeroth index. And in this way, we have solved this problem. Now let's talk about its time and space complexity. So its time complexity is big O of n as we are iterating this array only once and its space complexity is big O of one. We are not using any extra space, expa uh, any extra space here. So let me run this code. And if I run this code, so just so the input array is this four, five, six, eight, nine, one. And after rotating an array, one is moved at zeroth index and rest of the element is shifted by one index right so now this is a very simple problem and sometimes in this type of questions generally the interview asks the follow-up questions so instead of rotating an array by one step now let's the interview ask the follow-up question that that hey write a code to rotate an array by k step so for solving or for rotating an array by k step 
don't use this approach because in that case the time complexity will be big O of k into n where k is the number of steps we have to rotate an array right and for solving this problem the reversal algorithm would be much more optimized than this approach this is fine if we have to rotate an array by one step and the link of the reversal algorithm so the link of the problem statement where we have to rotate an array by k step is present in the card section of the video and also in the description box and please make sure to watch that video so now that's it for this video and for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash webdirect.com thanks for watching this video please like and subs please like this video and subscribe our channel and share this video with your friend and colleagues thank you thank you for your time